This is number nine for the second AccuPlacer test. Water runs from a pump at a rate of 1.5 gallons per minute. So that means that if you run the pump for one minute, one and a half gallons of water will come out of it. Now, at this rate, how long would it take to fill a tub with a 150 gallon capacity? So this is a, a big bathtub. You want to fill it up with 150 gallons of water. So normally what I would do is I would say, well, let's just set up a division problem where we have the total divided by the rate so we can see how many minutes it takes. Now, this is going to confuse a lot of people and frankly it confuses me, so I'm not going to do it this way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, if it takes 1.5 minutes per gallon, if it takes 1.5 gallons in a minute, how do I how many minutes would it take to fill up 15 gallons? So I'm just going to multiply this by 10. So 1.5 times 10 equals 15. And look, there's no decimal. But here's the trick. If you multiply this by 10, you also have to multiply this by 10. So we have 150 times 10 equals 1500. And this is the new total. So if you're filling up normally, it takes 1.5 gallons per minute, and then we're looking at 150 gallon tubs. This is the same thing as 10 of these tubs filled with a, a pump that goes 10 times faster. So it's going to give us the same result, because if we multiply this by 10, we also have to multiply this by 10. So let's do the division. Now this one, we st you could do this if you put it in your cell phone, this will work but you can't use your cell phone on this test. And I promise you, this one's not gonna let you use a calculator uh, on the problem, so watch this. So again, we put the 100, 1500 inside the house. This is, goes inside, and then outside the house is 15. So one's too small, so I move over one. So 15 goes into 15 one time, right? One times 15 is 15. 15 minus 15 is zero, and then I just remember to bring up these zeros. So it's going to take 100 minutes to fill up that giant bathtub. So let's see what happens. We have 10 minutes, 100 minutes, 225, and 2,250. So, this is the right answer right here is B. Now, if you want to prove this to yourself, you can just go and check these using this number because multiplying that number isn't going to be that hard. So let's do a quick multiplication review of decimals. So we'll do the first one. So 1.5 times 10 0 0 1 goes in 1 times 5 is 5 1 times 1 is 1 and then i bring down the 1 5 0 so we bring that down now we have to remember that if you have a decimal here you count the number to the right you bring it over to the left for every decimal point so this is only 15 gallons so obviously that doesn't work Now, let's look at the one that we got right. So we have 100 times 1.5. 5 goes into 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 1 is 5. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 0, 0, 5. One. And again, if you have a decimal, and the number of decimals to the right, you have to move the final answer to the left. So 150 gallons. Here, there's our answer. 
We could do it for these two, but we, you can already see that this is going to be more than double that, and this is uh, more than uh, 10 times the amount, 20 times as much.